Morning affirmations for entrepreneurs. Shalom. Satisfy strangers to get rich. That advice by this video's end, you'll relate to it just fine. You got to use what you got to get what you want, right? Get your mind out of the gutter with that player's club line. I'm talking about becoming selfless and serving so many people that the Lord boosts your next check. Remember that good deeds blot out sins. That's why you feel less stress when you give to charities. Before the day they bury me, I want to impact the entire planet. Give and you'll receive. Christ gave his life for us and he's rewarded kingdom rulership in return. See, the Messiah planned it. If you're a follower, follow his example in business also, and you'll be admired and rich. <laughs> if you read Romans 2, verse 6, it says that he's rewarding you according to your deeds. So if you're consumed with your greed, you're hindering the time and the amount that you'll receive. Damn it. Don't be weary and well doing because you'll reap when it's time. Jeff Bezos must have this formula down packed because he's the richest man alive. He sacrificed profit for 25 years to serve customers better than anyone ever. So by the time he made his first dollar with Amazon, he knew his customer base would never leave him once ever. So stop thinking about yourself for once and think about the grand scheme of things. Martin Luther dreamed a dream but still couldn't make an impact greater than the king of kings. Look at God's son. God's son gave his life for everyone. So there's no country you can visit that doesn't know his name. So the key to growing your wealth as an entrepreneur is mastering selflessness. And now you know the game. Matthew 25 verse 21 said that if you're a good and faithful servant, you'll become ruler over many things. That's domination on a whole nother level, which could result in income in many streams. That was your morning affirmations for entrepreneurs. Pray that you guys get up and go out there and kill it. Shalom.